guys, welcome back to Burt's Feeders. I'm also back from my Europe trip. It was great. This is going to be an amazing video. You're now seeing pictures of barn finds. And soon enough, you are also going to see videos of these barn finds up close and personal. So stay tuned and check out what is to come. Thanks. Okay, here's that 61 Imperial y'all been asking about. Now, when I got this, it was in a barn with a bunch of other cars that were in the barn that I got. I sold some. I still have some. This is a 61. I put it down here because I was going to keep it. But I can't keep, it, keep all of them, so I got to get rid of it. Uh, I just cleaned out the trunk. You can see there's a bunch of stuff in there. All this stuff was in the trunk. Uh, mice living in there or something but anyway it's got the keys to it it's a big old chunk cardboard's not in bad shape probably could be used to be changed you could see it up in there still got the sticker over here the jack still in it the hook for the jack down there uh, some kind of tie rod tire thing, uh, spare tire. Sorry, I'm sweating all over everything today. It is hot. All right, it's definitely gonna need carpet. I was vacuuming and it was coming apart on me. You see this? It's just nasty. So I'm gonna pull it back. Let's see what we got here? Yeah, it's ripping. It's just tearing up. It's solid. Uh, a little bit of, let's see what we got here. It's solid. It's just rust. It got some surface rust on it. Uh, I'm just gonna pull this out. I don't know what these are for. Uh, I should have took out the spare too, but uh, I'm guessing this carpet's no good. I'm not going to rip it all to hell because somebody might want to use it for a pattern. There. Looks like got a little water in here. I did have the trunk open, try to keep the critters out. So maybe a little water blew in here. It does feel a little damp, this carpet. Uh, but this, the cardboard. <clears throat> Just surface rust in here, solid. See if I can get this spare out. I'm gonna pause it for now. Hell. Oh. All right, now it's recording. I got the cover off for it. Oh, look at that. It can't be the right color. To... Cause it's like a light green. Shit, is it hot out here? Alright, here's the spare. Alright, All right, geez, I don't know what's going on. I keep hitting buttons. Alright. Here's the jack up in there. The old directions for the jack. I mean, this thing is really nice. Got the, the insulation up here, original. Little surface rust on this trunk lid. Uh, solid, everything's solid. Everything is solid on this thing. 
All right, let me try to get some pictures of the inside. I got stuff piled on this car. Uh, like I said, I was going to restore it. Uh, people are asking for pictures, so I'm just going to try to wing it right now. Back. Oh, shoot. I can't open the door that much. I'm hitting some stuff here. Here's the back. Hubcaps look like they're in the back. Yeah, it's a mess. I can't open the door, so. Uh, headliner's nice. Pile of stuff on the seat. I can't stick my head in there to see where I'm going, but. All right, let me try to. That right front window's not working. It's power, power windows, but uh, it's not. Uh, all right, the square wheel in it. Yeah, the window's off the track. The glass is still over there, but it's off the track. Uh, I can't see. Let me try to get in there and get the mileage. Ugh. I can't I'd be able to see that. Somebody put a towel over the seat here. It looks like it's got some tears in it. Yeah, it does. Yep, down there too. Push button. I'll check the miles here when I get in the house and look at this thing. I'm gonna try this again. To get some patina. You all call it patina. I call it light rust. Uh, Cart is all here. All here. All the glass is good. Quarters are solid. There's the spare. I can't do nothing down this side because it's right up against the carport. Little patina on the back door there. Coming up to the nose. I'll have to get all this stuff off the hood and uh, get a picture of the motor for you. Maybe I'll try to do that today too and add it to the video. Here's the front. All right, that's it for now. I'll get back. Okay, here's the balance of this video. I cleaned off the hood. There's your patina for you patina lovers out there. Let me open the hood and show you what we got. Like I told you before, this car is complete. <clears throat> yeah, hood almost goes up by itself. Watch. All right, 413. Uh, I think that's cruise control right there. Not sure. I haven't done anything with this car like I told you earlier in the clip because uh, I was going to keep it and of uh, course I'm trying to get this other stuff done first. Look at the room up in front here. Put a suitcase in there and go on a trip. Look at that dryer. Why is it a big one? I wouldn't doubt if this air worked in this thing. Only because that 93 that's been sitting for uh, 21 years up there in that barn, that van. That's got ice cold there. I didn't do anything to it. Just got the van running. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the front of this bad boy here. It's a nice one. And I guess that's a something 
All right, there she blows. And let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to like, share, and uh, hit the bell so you, so you can get notifications. Thanks again. Not sure what year this is. Two door. I took pictures of it with the flash engine and all. Little Nash. Who knows what's buried in here? That looks like a 73, 2, 1, I don't know. A 50s truck, I think. New Volkswagen motor. New job rated. That car over there, that's a two door. Doors open nice. Seats nice. <laughs> Couple of heads. Another engine block. It's like a flat head. Let's see what's in here. Oh, dang, you can't lift that sucker. Okay, here's that uh, 1988 Fifth Avenue that I actually bought with the uh, 93 van, which you see in the video. Um, this car is nice, 100% cancer free, and most likely rust free. Sunroof, V8 318, this car runs. I'm about to put a fuel pump in it, but she runs. I had it running the other day. Um, she's a nice car. I haven't cleaned it up. It's got the nice wheels on there. Leather interior. I get, do have the keys for this. Headliner is falling down on this one though. Uh, yeah, there's a the new fuel pump and uh, fuel filter for it. But she runs really good. Get back seat here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll clean this up nice and get it ready to sell. But uh, she's a nice one. I'll probably end up putting tires on it too because this car has been sitting quite a while. It's got power seats, power windows. Uh, it's an AC car, Chris. I don't know if any of this works yet until I can, um, you know, get it running. Yep. Let's look at a trunk. <clears throat> okay, 
these things ish. Okay. All right, there's some stuff in here. <laughs> Spare tire, some parts. Not for the, not for this car, just storage, I guess. There's the uh, service manual, '88. Uh, yeah, this car is like new. We'll have to check the miles before I walk back in the house. <clears throat> is a looks like looks like 43,000 miles on it I can't really see it could be more could be 93 I don't know it's hard to see it uh, see the pedals down there don't look too worn out oh, does it I can't yeah maybe it is no nope, it ain't I don't know There's your brake is on. Why is that? I don't never put them on. Um, yeah, well that's it for this one. Sunroof. Doors closed like new. Nice car. All the plastic is good. Of course, this was in the barn too. You saw this. I took a quick glance of it before. Because I wasn't gonna buy it, but in the end, I ended up buying the two, the '93 van, and this '88 Fifth Avenue. Maybe I can make a dollar on it. Who knows? Nice car, though. Let me know. Okay, here's that '73 barn find. It's a Chrysler Imperial. It's in this video early on. Uh, the hood was kind of crooked on it and all. Anyway, it's got the 440 in it. Uh, this thing is 100% cancer free. It's got some patina or a little surface rust on it in spots. Like right here, there's a couple little spots. A little bit right here. Uh, under the vinyl feels good, but there is some little tears and stuff. There's probably some rust under there, I would imagine. Yeah, it feels like there's some right here. Um, but this is solid here. 73, 440. Don't know anything about the engine. Haven't done anything with the car, really just cleaned it up to take pictures of it. I don't have the ignition key, but I did drill out the ignition so I could uh, turn the wheel and, you know, move the car around. <clears throat> Good headliner. Back seat's nice, dirty though. Yeah, it's pretty dirty in here. I, I didn't really uh, wash anything, I just vacuumed it out. Um, it's got all the hubcaps to it. <clears throat> it's showing uh, 69,700 miles on it. Don't know if that's true or not. There's the pedals. I don't see any wear on the pedals, so that could be true miles. Um, electric seats, the button's falling out of it. I mean, the door's closed like it's a new one. We got all the hubcaps. This thing is a boat. 19 and a half feet long. Let me open this trunk and try to show you what's in here. I do have the key for the trunk. 
I did throw all the uh, carpet and cardboard stuff back in here, but it was all up in there. I mean, this thing looked new when I took it apart. Um, I, but I took it out just to show everybody the actual metal in the truck. And it's nice. I mean, this thing is gorgeous inside. Gorgeous. Got the jack. Jack was brand dang new too. Let's see if I can lift this up. No, no, that's it. There's all your cardboard. But the jack hangs over here, and you got the covers to cover it up. It's really, really, really nice. This car is really beautiful. I'll bet you there's it, this thing needs no metal work. A little surface rust here. No metal work. So you can imagine the savings from that. There's the fourth hub cap. Um, Solid. I've been under this car and this thing is just beautiful underneath it. Just beautiful. AC car, of course. All the toys. I mean, look at that door just closes by itself. Nice. There's a little speck of rust down here. Got the skirts. What a boat. Anyway, it's a nice one. Y'all need to uh, give me a call on it. It's a great starter car. I haven't done anything with this car except for bring it home, cleaned it up, and took some pictures of it. That's it. <clears throat> All the other ones that I got from this barn, uh, every one that I tinkered with, I got running. So I'm sure this will run too. it for this one. We're going to move on to the next one. This this whole video is full of different cars, so just keep watching. Another barn find. This is where I got all the other Mopars out of these barns. I finally bought these two other. They're a little too new for me, but I bought them anyway. 1993 Dodge Ram 250 van. High topper. The Mark III edition. Uh, going to the car wash here after I pick it up and take it out. Uh, it's, inside's pretty nice. It's showing 81,000 miles on it, which I tend to believe. All the toys. Tons of paperwork on it. I mean, it's pretty nice. Got the lift in it too for wheelchair access. There it is. Controller. Pretty nice van, pretty nice van. Uh, that's it for now.